Welcome back. You're tuned into Market Fatafat. Uh, this is the show where we take you through all the stocks that are buzzing away in trade. And now on the technicals, we are joined by uh, Arpit Beriwal, who's uh, uh, the manager derivatives analyst, uh, equity research from Motilal Oswal Financial Services. Hi, Arpit. Uh, welcome on board. Let's get started with all the stocks yet again. Then, Arpit, you picked up Dr. Lal Pat Labs, and this pharma name has done uh, pretty well for itself. Uh, in fact, it is headed towards this 52-week high. Tell us, uh, uh, what is the upside from there on? Uh, what do you see on the charts for this? So very good afternoon everyone. So if you see overall the market nature, uh, last few days has been quite volatile for the market. Uh, however, within that selective uh, component, selective stocks have seen outperformance. And within that pharma space, if you see Lalpath Lab, technically uh, it has given a range breakout on weekly scale after a consolidation breakout almost after five weeks with a strong bullish candle that clearly indicates that bulls are holding tight grip in this market in spite of market weakness. So on daily scale also, it is moving higher highs, higher lows and perfectly holding above its 50 demo. So that clearly uh, shows that uh, market volatility is there, but defensive sectors like pharma has come into picture. So technically also on monthly scale also, it has given a range breakout after almost two, uh, two months. That clearly indicates that uh, positionally, we can see good 8 to 10 percent upside move in coming uh, series or for the October series itself. So one can go long at current levels or minor dip uh, in between 34.50 to 34.80 zone with keeping stop loss of 33.33 for an upside move towards 36.50 and then 3800. That's Dr. Lal Pat Labs uh, on the charts. But another pharma named Jine on the back of news flow. Sipla, tell us uh, what's the news flow here. Well, yeah, so recently Investec uh, met the management and they've come out uh, with a note. They're maintaining their buy rating with a target price of 1900. Now, what they believe is that they're basically optimistic about 12 to 13 percent growth in IPM, uh, the India market. Also, uh, talking about the Goa plant, the company is uh, likely to receive classification from USD in next a month or two is what they believe. Also, the biosimilar uh, JV with Camwell has two products under development and the and uh, uh, Investec uh, believes that company holds a huge opportunity in GLP-1, which is a glucagon uh, like peptide 1. It's a basically a hormone that helps to regulate your blood sugar and energy intake. So positive note coming in uh, on Cipla by Investec. Alright, positive note coming in on Cipla and Investec, but mirroring the market, Cipla is also knocked down in trade. But uh, coming to you, Gaurav, Gale is the name that you've picked out on the back of a brokerage note. Tell us what does the brokerage note say? Well, yes, Gale is in focus on the reason being that now Excess Capital has initiated with sell rating at a target price of 185 rupees on this tongue. What they are seeing is that they are actually seeing risk in earnings because of the higher PNG prices. So, uh, higher LNG prices, pardon, uh, I beg your pardon. So, when we talk about LNG prices that have gone up almost by 40% in the last six months and that could be a reason why excess capital believes that we may see muted Kager growth in terms of profitability for Gale India. So what they are expecting is that they are only penciling in around 3.3% of the Kager growth for the PAT for the next three years and they are also expecting gas transmission volumes to be moderate. Apart from that, what they are saying is that petrochem business recovery is likely to be weaker because of the higher feedstock cost that we are seeing and as a result, they are being a little bearish on the stock. Now, when we talk about the stock performance also, it is mimic mimicking the market at the moment but at the same time this note also seems to have some kind of impact because the stock is down almost four percent so definitely watching out on gale for on the back of the brokerage note that we have received today all right uh, moving on then coming to you arpit uh, lupin is a name that you've picked out for us on the charts uh, tell us uh, what do you see on the charts for lupin now uh, this one's given uh, good gains in the last six months but last one month has been uh, a, a consolidate it's, it's been in a consolidation mode uh, tell us uh, 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 from here on, where does this go? So, as rightly mentioned, if you see a pharma sector has been the flavor, and the beautiful pharma stocks, if you see, uh, we have seen a correction of almost four to five percent Nifty in last couple of days itself. But however, pharma stocks are holding strong, and that clearly indicates the outperformance. So, from a technical perspective, technically on the monthly scale, it has been consolidating. But the good part is that the base of the stock has shifted higher from 2,000 levels to 2,100 levels. On image on the weekly basis also, the stock is consolidating in between 2130 to 2250, 2280 levels. So overall the bias is positive. However, if you see from a daily scale also, it is stuck in a range. But the best part about that, it is holding about 2150 levels. So I think definitely slowly steadily, a close about 2240 levels can open the momentum towards 2300, 2340 levels. So Lupin would be a preferred pick within the pharma pack. One can go long at current levels, keeping stop loss of 2100 
from upside move towards 2300 and then 2350 zones. All right, moving on now from Lupin to CESC that is in focus today, which has entered into a binding term sheet with Botraj Renewables Energy in securing connectivity approval and land acquisition and approvals for wind and solar projects for uh, approximately 108 crore rupees. On the back of this acquisition, CESC is in focus today, has given up all those gains, is uh, slipped into the negative territory, trading with cuts of four tenths of a percent. But uh, all right, moving on, coming to you, Jinnai. Go forward on the back of a note that's come out by J.P. Morgan. Tell us what does the note say. Uh, well, yes, uh, J.P. Morgan are maintaining their overweight rating and they've hiked the target price from uh, 6,900 uh, to 9,300. Now, this uh, hike in uh, target price mainly comes due to consolidation of Kigney Technologies, which will happen from Q2 of FI25. Uh, they believe that the share swap ratio could be lower than earlier estimated uh, by J.P. Morgan. Uh, also, they've increased uh, the earnings estimates because of this by uh, 15 to 20 percent over next three FI, that is from FI25 to FI27 uh, estimates. They believe that Kigney Technologies uh, will grow faster than uh, Coforge's organic business and Coforge remains the top pick in IT services. All right, uh, that's cool. All right, uh, let's uh, get started with uh, all the stocks that are in focus yet again. Uh, Gaurav, uh, Alembic Pharma is what you've picked out for us. Uh, tell us what's the news flow powering this stock. Well, yes, Alembic Pharma is in focus because the company has now received US FDA final approval for one of the drug, which is called as Alkaftadine Ophthalmic Solution. This will be used for a temporary relief from the itchy eyes. Now, when we talk about the drug, company has not given any kind of information as how the market size is going to be. But what they have said is that Alembic Pharma's cumulative total drug approvals have reached around 216. Now, let's not forget that just a week ago, this company had come up with another drug um, approval. And with that, now, now with this new drug the company has now reached 216 total approved drugs when we talk about the stock performance also today it is facing some kind of pressure but in this year itself the stock has given around 60 percent of the returns to investors so definitely watching out on this counter on the back of the drug approval the new drug, drug approval that the company has received all right uh, moving on then arpit coming to you info edge is the name that you picked out for us info edge is of course the parent company of knockery.com uh, uh, Arpit, tell us what are you seeing on the charts? Good returns coming in from uh, InfoEdge and for the last one month it has moved to almost uh, 11%. Uh, tell us uh, what what is the upside for this? Yeah, so talking about uh, IT as a space, if you see the, in this uh, market volatility, IT has been quite resilient. And within that, in the mid-cap space also, Info has, is trading a live high trading. So technically, on the monthly scale, the structure of high rise is intact. On weekly scale also the base of the stock has shifted higher from 7500 to 7800 and then now the new base has been shifted towards 8000 levels. On daily scale also slowly steadily it is moving higher and uh, trading a life high diaries. Um, so overall looking at the setup also we can expect a slow and gradual move towards 8500-8600 levels uh, on the in the coming week itself. So overall from a chart perspective we are quite strong and uh, one can go long at current levels around 8200 levels with keeping stop loss of 8000 for an upside move towards 8500 and then 8650 levels. Viewers, with that we have come to an end of Market Fatafat uh, and uh, Arpit, Gaurav, Jinnai, thank you so much for joining us and Vaishali who joined us in the first segment. Thank you so much for taking the time out and joining us. But before There comes a time when your heart calls for you to arise. Plant your feet solid into the ground. Decide your own limits and then break right through them become something more. It's my time to rise.